Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and this is a video that wasn't meant to be but I decided to make it work. I hope you'll stick around and see the cards I made using this month's scraps. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. As I have been doing the past few months, I wanted to stop by in January and share with you the cards that I made with the sheet load scraps from the month, or what I call the sheet load leftovers feature. I had already put it off pretty long this month. Um, I had done a couple sets of sheet load. I had got my paper pumpkin and done some alternatives and it just kind of fell by the wayside. So I decided yesterday that was a day I was gonna make my sheet load leftovers. Well, nothing went right with the video. I couldn't seem to cut. I kept making mistakes. Um, I was honestly ready. I actually did delete all of the footage because I was just gonna give up. I was gonna recycle what I had made so far. I was just gonna forget about it and pretend like sheet load leftovers didn't exist in January. But I didn't wanna disappoint any of you guys and not have something and also, I get some comments from time to time that, oh, you make this look so easy. My cards don't go together as fast as yours or as good as yours. And I just wanted to tell you that even crafty YouTubers have awful days and don't always make what they had in mind in the beginning. But I do think it's what you do with that that makes the difference. I decided I was just going to go ahead and finish the cards off camera. I still wasn't sure if I was going to make a video and share them, but I was at least going to keep going and try to make it work. And since I did end up with something that, hey, I'm satisfied with, I thought I would stop by and share those. So while today's video isn't going to be a normal process video like I like to do, it was another learning experience for me and I decided to just go ahead and share what I created. This month I did have quite a few leftovers because I made the original set for the debut and then I made two more sets where I showed you what it looked like matted and unmatted using the same papers. If you want to watch any of these videos, my January sheet load of cards playlist is linked in the description box below. But for today, let me show you what I made with the leftovers. Here are the four leftovers I was able to make from the wintry or the snowflake pattern paper set. And what I was going for in the beginning, what technique I was showing you, was how I created this background with the different waves. And I spent a lot of time cutting all these pieces and getting them onto a piece of cardstock so I could cut them down. But like I say, nothing seemed to go right. And you will notice between this and the other set, a lot of the matted pieces are completely different sizes. Like they are all over the place. And but hey, you know what? I made it work and now I have some cards to send out. In case you're interested, this is the trimmer that I use to make those wave pieces. I just cut them into four inch sections and then put a wave on the top and bottom until I had enough to fill the cards. This trimmer is from Creative Memories. I believe they do still sell it. If I can find it, I'll link it in the description box below. But I have had this tool for, I would say, around 14 years, and I like to get it out every once in a while and use it. It, of course, makes great wavy cuts, and this longer wave makes great snowy hillsides if you ever need that. For my sentiments, I used some leftover prints I had from that free printable that I gave out earlier this month. If you're interested in downloading that PDF, I will have that video linked as well in the description box below. But I thought that I would jazz that up just a little bit with some silver cord. So I put a bow on each of those to finish it off. 
And here is a look at the seven cards I created with the leftover Valentine themed paper. You'll notice that a lot of these look completely different from the one next to it. I was just kind of playing around figuring out what I wanted to do. And here's where you might also notice that the mats and the size of the pattern pieces are all over the place. I have an eighth of an inch border. I have a sixteenth of an inch border. I have no border at all. And I decorated them a little bit differently as well. Most of the sentiments got matted with just a pink rectangle. And on this one, I did some scallops on the top and bottom with a twine nest behind it. Most of the cards though, I did do a bow either below the sentiment or over here on the side. Now that I've shown you kind of how I made it work in a set of cards that I didn't necessarily think was gonna go anywhere, this brings me to the QOTV or the question of the video. If you've been watching the past few videos, you've noticed that each of those I have given a little question that helps me find out a little bit more about you and I share a little bit more about myself. Today's question of the video is what do you do when a card or card set starts going not according to what you had planned. Make sure if you do answer that question to put the hashtag, hashtag QOTV in your comment so I know that you want me to see it. I think this video today is kind of my answer for you. Now sometimes if I'm working on a single card and I'm like, ugh, I don't like that at all, I will put it to the side and come back to it a day or two later. And sometimes I'm like, wow, I don't know what I was thinking, that card looks great. And I'll go ahead and finish it. Now, there have been times where it just gets slipped into my recycle bin. But hey, we all have those times. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how even crafty YouTubers aren't perfect and that the magic of video editing makes everything always look nice and happy and smooth. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.